But first, all new tonight, UTSA launches an investigation after flyers claim there was, quote, rampant sexual assault and abuse on campus and in the world. Other flyers identified alleged perpetrators of sexual assault. Eyewitness News reporter Sharon Coe is following the story for us. And Sharon, who posted these posters? Deborah and Jeff, UTSA President Taylor Amy did not say if they were students, but he did say they are a group of women and counselors are offering them help. The university became aware of the first flyers that surfaced left behind in a campus restroom. The flyers talked about rape and abuse culture, saying women are victimized, left afraid and ashamed. The group included an email saying they want to create an anonymous online reporting system for survivors. In the other flyers that surfaced, President Amy says they identified alleged offenders. Now those were posted at an off campus apartment. One student we talked to tonight says she supports a full investigation. Look at it, go, we'll look into this, investigate and figure out the facts, not feelings. The university has hired a nationally recognized independent law firm to investigate the claims. President Amy says in part, the investigation will take some time, but I have asked all involved to approach this work with the highest sense of urgency. UTSA says it has designated staff members for those identified on the flyers to ensure they receive due process during the investigation. Sharon Coe, Ken's 5 Eyewitness News.